Guzhou 41 the 4 has been released with over 100 changes. But there is one that will blow up your mind, so stay until the end to discover it. Today I will take in out this new version and its new features. Now let's start. So as I said before, the Guzhou 41 the 4 has been released and it comes with over 100 changes. With this version, we are closing the feature merging phase, which is a period of time of 3 months long uh, that covers March, April and May of 2023. This phase includes new features, roller bug fixes and riskier bug fixes that wouldn't merge during the bug fixing phase. Here we have the three most important features, I'm talking about these three, but specifically in this video we are going to talk about um, the tag system. So it says that they added a system for assigning custom tags to our Goodjode projects. If we go to the pull request um, in GitHub, which is over here, we can uh, completely see the pull request and how this actually works. Firstly, it says this pull request adds ability to assign tags to projects. A project can have any number of tags and they, and they are stored in project.goodjode. Tags are only usable and editable by project manager. In this video, we can see a quick demonstration about uh, how we can assign tags to a project and also how we can create new tags. Also, in this other video, we can see how we can start sorting our uh, projects so that when you have a, a very, very long uh, project list, okay, this system is incredible. So, let's now give it a try. So, I will scroll down a little bit of course we have here uh, the complete uh, changes list and here we have um, the downloads in my case I'm going to download the uh, standard build and then here I'm going to select Goodo 414 Windows 64 okay and as usual this is a zip file with uh, we have the executable of a uh, good and also this one is the console so if we double click this one as you can see now we have a good job opened and okay the first thing I, I would like to try out is as you can see this manage tax button but of course in order to start managing our tags I will need to create some projects so I'm going to create three projects as you can see this interface is entirely the same so I've created these two projects and I'm going to create the third one with you because I want you uh, to see how much time uh, Gujo takes to create a project. But as you may already know, Gujo creates a project in a very, very low time. So here we have our three projects. And as you can see, whenever we select a project, we can see that uh, we can manage the tags. So for example, I will select my uh, project one. I will click manage tags, and here I have uh, and here I have project tags. Click tag to remove it from the project. All tags. Click tag to add it to the project. So for example, uh, firstly I will create a tag and I will name it a uh, tag one. Something very important is that you can, uh, if you want to create a new tag, you must uh, put it in lowercase. I mean, you can put. A capital letters because you can see tag name must be lowercase so uh, I'm going to create tag 2 and finally a uh, tag 3 okay and now uh, as this is project 1 I'm just going to leave a uh, tag 1 and by clicking I will just delete tag 2 and 3 now when I click ok you can see the, the tag I've assigned so uh, then I'm going to assign to my project 2 the tag 2 and to my project 3 I'm going to assign tag 3. Also if I click here in my tag I will only be seeing uh, the projects that contain our tag. So this means that for example if to my project 1 I add for example tag 3 now my project 1 has tag 1 and 3. If I click tag 3 I will only see project 1 and project 3 hiding um, project 2. Let's for example create another example. Uh, of course there are endless uh, things you can put on the tags. The only limit is your creativity but for example we can put here uh, that this is a prototype. Um, also we can put here tag 2 uh, completed, uh, completed project for example. 
completed a project or for example uh, in progress and like this should be so now that I have these other tags I'm going to assign them so for example let's say that project 1 is a prototype then that project 2 is um, an in progress project and then that project 3 is a completed project also here I have created project 4 and project 5 so for example project 4 I'm going to put that it's also a prototype and that project 5 is a completed project so now, for example, uh, let's say that I don't want to show that I only want to show um, the completed projects. So there I have only my completed projects. And by clicking again, I like delete that filter. And let's say I've, I only want to see the prototypes. Well, there I have my prototypes. Also here we have the in the search window, we can select last edited name, path or tags. And here we have the option tags okay so that's just incredible of course there is a lot they they could improve for example it comes to my mind that you could uh use two tags to filter i mean for example if you would like to show both completed project and for example prototype project as you can see i don't really know how to show both because if i click completed project i only see completed project but i don't know how could i uh, show only completed and prototype projects for example but well, I believe this feature of this new version is really, really useful. And of course, they are going to uh, be improving this feature in future updates. Now, uh, I will just make something very simple in Gojo to try out the workflow. So I'm going to create a new to the scene and name it, for example, main. I will save this scene and then I'm going to create another scene and name it uh, with the sprite I mean and here I'm going to quick load the icon once I have my icon um, I would like to attach a, a script which basically in our ready function that is called when we start playing uh, I will change the modulate to color dot red for example then I will also save this scene and I will instantiate it in our main scene so now when we press play and we select the main as our current scene, we should see our icon red, yeah. As you can see, the workflow of those continues being excellent. Uh, because for example, if here I would like to change it to blue, for example, uh, something I love about Joe is that the script compilation is super short because when I click play, you are going to quickly see a window that says uh, completing scripts or script compilation, something like that, but it's very difficult to, to actually see them. So I click play and as you can see, or it says like reloading scene or something like that. But for example, in Unity, uh, when you make a change or when you compile a script, like uh, it takes uh, maybe five, 10 seconds to compile a script. But here in Gujot, as you could see, it's just a, a matter of milliseconds. So what do you think about this new version of Gujot, Gujot in general? Leave me your opinion in the comments down below. I am always uploading the latest news of this incredible engine, so subscribe to the channel if you want to be the first one to know the new updates. This is all for today's video, see you in the next one and bye bye.